Hey guys, today on the podcast we've got Harry Hawkins. Harry Hawkins is currently playing for Suntory in the Japan Top League and has formerly played for the Queensland Reds and the Queensland Country. I hope you guys do enjoy this podcast with Harry. It's a great insight into the life of professional sportsman. I hope you guys do enjoy the podcast and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the welcome to the podcast. Cheers, mate. Good to be here. Um, it's a tough one. I always loved my sport growing up, so I guess always the back of my mind wanted to become a sportsman, but I guess, uh, yeah, it didn't really have anything set in my mind exactly as what I wanted to be growing up. Yeah, nice. How would your oldest friend describe you? Um, probably, hopefully, pretty easy going, um, easy to get along with, sort of, yeah, hopefully, hopefully described as a good friend. Yeah, definitely. What are you most proud of in your life or career so far? Um, I guess in my rugby career, I'm pretty proud of uh, the achievements I've made. I think representing my state, Queensland, and my country at under 20 level is pretty, pretty big achievement. Pretty proud of that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, nice. How do you handle hard times like not getting picked in a certain team or getting injured? Um, I guess you just have to rally around your teammates and family. I guess everyone, especially athletes, go through things like that. Um, yeah, just rallying around people that are close to you and I guess it always brings it back into perspective. Yeah, nice. What's it been like playing in Japan the last few seasons? Yeah, it's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. Um, a good club here, Suntory, so a lot of good players and coaches involved. Um, very different to back home, but um, has been a good experience so far. Yeah, nice. What was it like going back a few years playing for the Reds? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I guess it was, as you mentioned earlier, a bit of a dream growing up. Um, so playing for the Reds, especially with a lot of good mates of mine who are still there at the moment. But yeah, we had a great time, a great team, and um, awesome to see them going, starting to hit their straps now, winning a few games and winning their comp last year. Yeah, definitely. What's it been like at Centauri? Like, we just touched on it then, but what's it been like training with, for example, last year with Bowden Barrett, this year you've got Damien McKenzie, you've got Sam Rudy with the Reds. What's that been like? Yeah, as you see, yeah, there's some awesome players here. Um, all really good guys too. That's probably the main thing that I've taken away from it. Um, Bodie and Damien, both really good guys, down to earth guys, and just, just, a, just a normal sort of bloke, I guess, which um, I guess, Maybe when I was around your sort of your sort of age, I was watching boating growing up and thought it was a huge superstar. But yeah, it was awesome to be alongside them and, and learn off them a bit, I guess, as well. Yeah, definitely. Have you always played in the second row? Yeah, always in the second row, rugby union. I used to play a bit of league back in the day, played a bit of lock. Um, I wish I was a I wish I was a back, but no, stuck in the second row for me. <laughs> What was your path to professional rugby going from like a junior to where you are now? Um, I guess during school, I was lucky enough to make the Australian schoolboys team. And that, that gave me a bit of a platform to um, get into the sort of under 20s, Queensland under 20s set up. Um, that was sort of with Thorny and a few of the boys who are there now. And Thorny sort of took us all, I guess, in a way with him through to the Reds, which is, yeah, worked really well for us. And um, hugely thankful for that sort of opportunity when I was so young. Yeah, nice. What was it like playing in that Australian school with team? Um, we had a pretty poor year that year. We got pumped by New Zealand, which is a bit frustrating, but it was awesome to play with guys from all across the country, the best sort of players uh, in that age bracket. And I still good mates with a lot of those boys today, which is probably the best part about it all. Yeah, definitely. 
yeah, how many of the how many of the people from the Australian schoolies team are playing Super Rugby or overseas? There'd be a good amount of them. I couldn't tell you the exact number, but I think yeah, probably more than half of them probably have made it so far, which is yeah, awesome to see. I guess yeah. it's, um, that, that sort of pathway. Can you just name three players in that team? Um, Harry Johnson Holmes, mm-hmm. Waratahs. He's, I think he actually won the Golden Boot that year, so he was a. Uh, I guess the player of the tournament or whatever it was. Um, who else did we have there? Um, a few Waratahs boys, Tom Horton, um, Hooker there, a few of the Reds boys. Who, yeah, Blythe, yeah, some really, yeah, some good players there. Yeah, definitely. What are your goals next couple of years in terms of rugby and yeah, just in terms of rugby? What are your goals? Um, so I'm in Japan for another few years, years now. So I guess our big goal is to win the uh, win the League One, which is, which is a comp we're playing in over here. We lost in the final last year; it was a bit a bit, of a, a bit heartbreaking. But so our main goal is to come back and try and try and um, get that, that trophy. Yeah, no, I had a really successful season last year, so hopefully you can repeat that again. Yeah, hopefully you can repeat that and hopefully go one step further. Yeah, nice. Who's the worst teammate to room with through your career and why? Um, I'd say back of the Reds, Tate McDermott, he's a shocker. It's dirty, didn't shower, noisy, just the worst. <laughs> What's the best word to describe you right now? Right now, um, pretty relaxed. We've got our game on tonight. So starting to prepare for that. I'm heading to the clubhouse soon and start getting ready for that. But at the moment, pretty relaxed, trying to not think about it too much. Yeah, nice. Starting this, starting at five? No, on the bench this weekend. Bench. Um, so I'd hopefully come off from the bench and yeah, see how we go. Yeah, nice. Who are you playing? Kobe, Kobe Steelers. So um, Aaron Cruden there and a few other big names. So they're, they're, they're a pretty solid outfit. So it should yeah. be a tough game. Yeah, nice. What advice would you give a 14 year old kid today? Um, I guess, I guess would just we get stuck into everything and every opportunity you get. Um, I guess at school you have all sorts of sports and like co-curricular and extra things you can do, which are provided to you. I think that that's an awesome thing to take advantage of and use all those ch- opportunities you get. Because I think yeah. that you're more sort of well-rounded person and well-rounded athlete if that's what you want to do um, down the path as well. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for coming on the podcast. Awesome. Thanks, Max. Really appreciate it, mate. Thank you for listening to the podcast. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Please like and follow, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for listening.